The hometown holiday walk and tree lighting ceremony are set for November 23rd in downtown Centerville. Hi, I'm Maureen Russell Hodson and this is Let's Talk Centerville. Later in the program, Randy Bishop from Bedham's Grove is going to show you a great way to make a beautiful holiday wreath. And we also have some lovely dancers from the Miami Valley Dance Company. First up though, we're going to tell you about the hometown holiday walk with our good friends Gail Wise and Vicki Bondi. And ladies, thanks for being here. Thanks, Gail, you are coordinating this event and Vicki, of course, is with Historical Society. So we have lots to talk about that's going to happen on November 23rd. Mm -hmm. But I want to make sure folks remember that this is, Vicki, the longtime event that's been going going on forever and ever yes, and ever. Probably just over, a <laughs> little over 20 years. Yeah. And it's really grown over those 20 years. It has grown. It started out, uh, the Historical Society had a little event, then the city started having the tree lighting and we joined those two together. And then Along about 10, Hart, yeah. 11 years ago, the heart came in and it just keeps getting bigger and better. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure you all know it's on Sunday, November 23rd. It starts at 1 o'clock, right, right, Gail? 1 to 5. And we want folks to start at Town Hall Theater? At Town Hall Theater, that is correct. Okay. Come there, and we're going to give you a shopping bag for you to um, be able to pick up some different items, free stuff. And obviously, we want you to shop during your time here, or during your time there. So um, we also are going to be donating money to Hannah's treasure chest, and we'll have um, a prize giveaway that day, too. Okay. So when we talk about Hannah's, when when um, this is the second year, right, yes. that you've selected that as the charity. That is correct. Folks who can come can make a donation? They can. And so um, when you when you make a donation for Hannah's tre treasure chest, you're also going to... Um, get raffle tickets and as you're purchasing the raffle tickets if you um, purchase up to ten dollars you're going to walk away with an ornament of town hall theater Ooh, la, la. it's a historic mark ornament. metzger's not even here but he always yes. figures out a way to work <laughs> into the show he does he, <laughs> he, he can do it <laughs> and vicki if folks go across the street to the ashville wright house lots going on over there too right? yes uh, the ashville wright house will be open we'll have children's activities over there they're going to make um little pine cones with bird seed to feed okay. the birdies and then we will have the horse and carriage or horse and wagon rides over there and those are free so everyone can do that from two to five and the wagon holds you know about 15 or 20 people at a time so it's not you, you know two people but going it's really a fun time. fun family event you can bring everybody everybody yes. gets on on yes. the wagon everybody and gets take just a short trip take around a short downtown. trip around and then we'll have hot cider that's donated by city barbecue cookies and then the school museum is open you can see what a one room school house would have looked like then and the teachers will be in there to keep you in line Ooh, notice how she pointed her finger <laughs> teachers will be in there <laughs> yes they are <laughs> there to keep you in line and decorated for the holidays too. decorated yeah. for the holidays we'll have um, antique toys and things from various time periods underneath the christmas tree and the kids can see what that would have been like and then if you go across the street, we have a live nativity, right? Yes, there is a live nativity there. Um, it's sponsored by Morningstar Baptist Church, and there will be live animals and a camel. We've had the camel like four years ago, and now we got the <laughs> That's camel really again. That's really cool, and you get so, up close and personal. Yes, um, but the camel should be very stationed centrally, so <laughs> everyone will be able to see the camel. Okay, so. and then and then well, there's also some musical entertainment as well. There is musical entertainment. Um, we have strolling carolers that will be participating in the event, and then we also have um, Centerville United Methodist Church, who has Klein Elementary performing, Normandy Elementary performing, as well as a dance team and Centerville Choirs performing. So if you so want to get your fill lineup. of Christmas carols yes. and really kick off your holiday season, and because this is actually right before Thanksgiving, so this That's is right. a Sunday before Thanksgiving, so we're taking you all the way through <coughs> That's right. all, That's right. all the good holidays throughout November and December. And for the horse and carriage rides, Vicki, those are sponsored by the Historical Society, Yes, right? they are. Now, yes. is Walton House Museum open also that day? The Walton House is open from 1 to 5, and uh, Walton House was built in 1838. So you'll start out around 1850, and you'll, it'll be decorated for that time period and learn some of the traditions from then and bring you up to the 1930s and 40s, and there will be cookies and cider there for you as well. And there will be tour guides inside to uh, talk to you and give you some history on, on Centerville and Washington Township. And for folks who may not be familiar with the heart of Centerville, it's a merchant organization, right? It now? is. Yeah, there's about 112 businesses or nonprofits that are involved with the heart of Centerville. And it's really just something to an organization that kind of pulls all the small businesses and um, those community, just as one community, yeah. really. So. And they do a lot of great things throughout yeah. the year. You might remember the different events that they did, the third 
Fridays mm -hmm, yeah. um, throughout the summer, and so this this is always a fun event. But as we said, it's a great way to really kick off your holidays. And for um, people who want more information, is the Heart of Centerville website a good place to go? It is, and we also have a Facebook page too. Okay. So it's Hometown Holiday Walk, and we are updating it almost every other day. So there's lots of information there for them to check out too. And when you go into the different shops, I'm assuming there's going to be lots of specials going there on is. too. Like we're so excited about that because there's a lot of the shops give away necklaces and jingle bells and rings and all this fun stuff, you know, to kind of kick off so your gonna holidays. So you're going to have, you're going to get your bag yeah, filled that's with right. some goodies. Mm -hmm. That's okay. exactly right. And, and coupons, well, you'll have that too. Um, just, you'll, it's, it's just a delightful time, honestly. Like, you know, last year I was walking through the stores and there's just a sense of warmth yeah. all through downtown Centerville and just, thankfully it was a little cold outside, so everybody's inside shopping, but it was, it's just a beautiful time. It really is. And then is. our good friend from up north will be making yes. a visit, right? Yes, Santa will be there and you'll be able to get pictures with Santa. He's a wonderful Santa. Um, he is wonderful. He is wonderful. Santa, he's yeah, great. Now, it, where is he going to be? Is he going to be at um, Town Hall? Or, mm -hmm. Okay, so you can. He'll be inside a Town Hall Theater. Okay. Yes. So you. Can so when you pick up your bag, you can also go in and get your picture taken with Santa at that time too. And you bring your own camera for that. Right? Yes. Okay. Bring your own camera for that. And as you said, so there's choirs. I know the Arts Commission was sponsoring a strolling yes. choral group as well. Yep. And um, the elementary school choirs, and so really a great way to feel like. Ho, 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 yes. here it comes. Yes. That's right. right. Kick off that season. Yes. And Vicki, if someone can't come on mm -hmm. November 23rd, which we'd be very sad if you can't, but if you wanted to see the decorations, your places are open, right? People can yes. come by and see um, those? Yes, Ashel Wright House and on Main Street and the School Museum and the Walton House Museum on Franklin Street are open Tuesday through Friday from 12 to 4. And they're all decorated for the holidays. And it's a nice time to come in and uh, see what life would have been like in those various time periods and how they would have decorated their homes. So we decorate for the holiday walk, but it stays up through the second week in January. So it's really nice if yeah. people come in and, and take advantage of that. And folks can come, what, Tuesday through Friday? Tuesday through Friday okay. from 12 to 4. Or if you have a group or if you can't make it, then just give us a call and, and we'll get you in there one way or another. 433-0123 would right. be the number to call. And again, this is a great way to kick off your holidays, to, to be in the Christmas spirit, and you can also give back by donating toward Hannah's, Hannah's Treasure Chest. Chest. And so yes. if people aren't familiar with that, tell us a little bit about that organization. They collect children's toys and clothing, They do, right? yes. And they're collecting right now. And right now they're also um, collecting coats for um, okay. uh, coat kids drive. Need and yeah, okay. with WDTN partnering okay. with them as okay. well. Carl's so. Coats for Kids then yes. is what mm -hmm. it is. All right, so lots of good information. Again, you can go to heartofcenterville.com or you can always go to the Historical Society website, which Absolutely. we like to say you can get through, to, through the Centerville website, yes. which is centervilleohio.gov and look for our links and you can find more information about the Historical Society. Ladies, thank you so much. It's going to be a fun day. Yes. It is. Sunday, November 23rd. It starts at 1. It wraps up at 5. And then you can take a quick break, and then we want you to come down to Benham's Grove for the tree lighting ceremony. So uh, you take a quick break and stay with us, and we'll be right back up to have you give you more information about tree lighting. Joining me now is Benham's Grove Assistant Administrator, Randy Bishop. Randy, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. You Great are known there. as the decorator extraordinaire mm -hmm. because, as folks know, you handle all aspects of the decorating at Benham's Grove, especially during Christmas time, yep. which always you tend to beat yourself every year. I mean, it's the wow factor. I don't know how you keep um, topping that, but... This year, no exception. I know you're already under wraps decorating. We are. Even We've as already we speak, started right? before the weather gets cold. We're trying to get some outside lighting done. So it'll be outside and then inside. Mm -hmm. House, um, every barn, cottage. It, it all happens all for Christmas. And yes, so Randy has been so gracious to come here this evening and show us some tips. And you are obviously going to put together a wreath. Some of the stuff you've already yeah. started with, right? For the sake of time. Um, I need, a, I need a new wreath for the front of the cottage. It's going to go on the fireplace oh, of the cottage. Great. So, so we can actually go and would, see this. This will be hanging <laughs> okay. out on the front of the cottage. Um, for the matter of time, I chose to use a pre-lit wreath. Okay, and so you can get these really easily. You can purchase, can, you can purchase pre-lit pre -lit wreaths, pre -lit no anymore. problem. Um, this already does have some embellishment on it. Um, so 
it's, it's up to you what you want to use. Um, you can add anything you want to it. You can make it a theme. This is just going to be a generic, um, I'm just doing red and silver to match Nothing the Nothing you do is generic, Randy. Oh, well, I just want yes, that on the record. Be. It can be. It can be. <laughs> um, first thing I'm going to do, though, with this wreath is, and a lot of people would think you would put the, the bow on last. I'm going to put the bow on first because yeah. I'm going to place everything around. Okay. Um, what I'm using oh, I can here. Be your assistant. Yes, you are my <laughs> fabulous assistant. This is just a basic um, net uh, ribbon. Um, it's very good. It's very sturdy. You can use this outside. It holds up to the weather. So I've just done several loops. I put a little wire and hit it into the center of it just to get the actual bow portion. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this forward. And you don't have to spend a lot of money on no, 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 no. Randy. You really don't. You're and you know what? There's all kinds of things you can use around your house, believe it or not. So we're just going to take this. We're going to add it in. We'll pull down from the bottom and tie this on. And one of the great things I like about when you decorate is you you never think it's wrong. You and and actually, there really is never. There's nothing wrong. And if you don't like the way something's turning out, tear it back off and start over again. So there is the actual bow portion. Oh, that's really pretty. You can fluff it out. You can pull as put as many loops as you want into your bows. So that's that's your basic bow portion here. Then what you normally want to do, you want to start putting your larger pieces on your okay. um, wreath or your tree. Some people call them focal points. You can pick a theme, like I say. I mean, if you want to make this children's, you could put stuffed animals with it or toys on it. Pick a larger piece and make it a focal point. So anytime you are doing a wreath, your tree, especially if you have little ones in the home, yeah. instead of just using a Christmas ornament hook, use wire because you can add and you can get a lot more onto the branch with that. And with so little hands. You really hands, fasten it in there tightly. Right. Yeah. Little hands and little mm -hmm. paws at homes tend to grab things. If it's just on there with a hook, it's going to come off the tree. Okay. So basically, you just want to pop something in. And then you reach back and you want to wrap it around the branch several times. That way you know it's not going to come loose off the tree. Or, or especially if it's wreath. outside with the wind. And the and wind the and the we've weather. Been having, that's, a, that's a good point too. So we're just going to drop a couple of focal pieces on here. Okay. You go Make with sure that, that focal they're piece. on there good and tight so that they're not going to go anywhere. I know you were talking about the embellishment here, but this is something that you could always pick up yourself. Exactly, right. Yeah, this, this came on the, on the wreath ahead of time. But you can buy, you can go to your local craft store, you can buy pine cones, you can buy branches, you can buy, these are holly berries. I mean, you can And put save them from year to year exactly. with different things, use them, right? Pull them off and use them on different things. And then I'm just going to put a couple of the larger ornaments in. So I'll take a, a large one up here. Now, when you're decorating, let's say, the Gerber house, mm -hmm. How much time do you allow for all of that? Because I know we, we have some photos if we're able to show, but I mean from the tree to the in, in the living room and then the dining room, the kitchen there. Actually, there's a beautiful centerpiece that you created last year. <laughs> do you see that? I would look at the monitor and that's oh, that there was, we go. That was last year. Yeah. Um, it all depends on how season's going. Um, you know, normally our season right now is ending November the 15th. Next year the season's going to change. We're going to end outdoor season on October 31st. So it depends on how many events we have going. We actually have a wedding this Saturday the 15th, and we have two events on the 22nd. So the night before tree lighting, we have two events at the facility, so we have to tear it down. But normally we try to allot at least a week to 10 days to get the inside done, the outside done. I have the Centerville Garden Club comes in. They decorate the barn for me. They do a fabulous yes, job. They, they come here every year mm -hmm. and help me do this. So it's just a matter of, how, of the timing on the season and, and what events we have determines how much time I have and where I can decorate first. And I know you have a lot of parties already booked this time of year, but if someone is interested in a party, just real quickly, if people aren't familiar with Benham's Grove, you have three facilities, the right. house, the barn, and the cottage. Uh -huh. And so you could do a party at any one, depending on the size, but still some openings that people can, can get yes, in. Yes, we and, do. And really uh, we have a lot of parties Talk already about a, Decorations booked. in a box. I mean, it's set up and ready. All you have to do is bring your party. Exactly. I mean, you know, we and we keep everything neutral. I, I, you know, like in the living room of the house, I keep all the decorations neutral to each room that we're in so that it doesn't clash with what the guest is bringing in decoration-wise. But as far as... Um, you really don't have to bring in decorations. No, you either. don't. I mean, it's and it's the same thing during the summertime. Yeah. You know, the outdoors, we do all the flowers and we keep the grounds maintained. Basically, so when you're coming in for a wedding or something, you basically have to concentrate on your table area. 
You don't have to worry about there being flowers in the flower beds and, and the grass being mowed. Everything is very well maintained. Everything is kept up for you so that we keep it as easy as possible and you have as least possible work to do when you arrive for your event. And if you want to bring your family for a special photo, uh, Benham's Grove opened up the house two years ago, right, Randy, yes. for special photo days. And they are again offering two days where you can come in, bring your family, have your Christmas portrait taken or a, a special picture taken. Mm -hmm. And those two days are November 30th from 12 to 6 and Tuesday, November, December 2nd, I'm sorry, from 4 to 8. But you do need to call and get a reservation. Reserve a time. Right? Um, we do have a couple of slots left on Sunday. Okay. You get a 30 minute, you have a 30 minute time frame. Okay. And we ask that you come prepared. Um, with your camera ready to take photographs because you do have a 30 minute time frame. We have a lot of people scheduled coming in and out, so you want to be ready to go when you arrive to take your photographs. Okay. And in, in, in lieu of a sitting fee, we ask that you bring a donation for food to go. We will have the container there, and we would love to have people bring some. And that's terrific. So it's, it's a win win for everybody. Food it to sure go, is. as you know, is the uh, backpack food program in Centerville. So you can bring individualized, uh, individual servings of a variety of foods. You can probably go to the Benham's Grove website, right? Mm -hmm. and get information, benhamsgrove.com sure for that. To reserve uh, a sitting, you can call 433-1914. Absolutely, All absolutely. Right. So, so we're just going to You've been adding your bulbs, right? Yeah, and I just, I pre-wired everything here ahead of time for myself for a matter of time, but um, like I say, you want to make sure that you're wiring things on securely so that you don't have things falling off, whether you're outside or inside. You want to push things in as much as possible so things aren't sticking out of your piece. It's looking great. It's getting there. And then we're just going to go through here and add a few little little splashes of silver here and there. So sometimes less is more and sometimes you can't get enough glitz. I mean it really depends on I guess what you're doing. What you're is, doing, right? exactly what you're doing. Um, this one like I say this is going to be outdoors so I'm using plastic ornaments I'm not using glass ornaments because it's going to be able to handle the uh, weather and the elements much better than using glass ornaments outside. I, I was going to say, you're going to put all of these reach, on? I would love oh, do you want you, me to help put some on? You certainly can oh, if you'd right. like to. Well, and we're we just do, we throwing do in little pops of silver. Oh, gosh. I'll probably put them in the wrong spots. But You'll be fine. We'll try. You can always you do redo it home. when it's over. You do it at home, don't I you? I do it at home. but Well, there you go. I'm not judged by a TV viewing <laughs> audience. <laughs> so, um, and so let's talk a little bit about the tree lighting because that this is the um, 22nd. Yes. Year for the tree lighting, and it's good. again November 23rd. It's going to happen um, at Benham's Grove, 166 North Main Street in downtown Centerville. And uh, lots of fun things are going to be happening that night. It starts at 5 30, and we're going to a little bit have some dancers from the Miami Valley um, Dance Company who are going to perform because they're going to be performing at that time. But there will also be uh, the choir from the Normandy Elementary School. Mm -hmm. We have the Centerville Community Band. And exactly. All kinds of neat things There'll happening. Be hot chocolate and refreshments. Cookies um, from Living Hope Church. I have to make right. sure I say that's that. That's right. See, you're able to talk and decorate. I'm. <laughs> I'm not good at that. I've done uh, it for a long time, so I'm kind of used to it. I'm going to hold that. And so, so we're, uh, well, we're almost finished here. We're getting this there. Is lovely. Aren't we? Yeah. We want to throw a little silver up in here. Is there any um, theme really that's popular this year, Randy, like in terms of decorations? Is there any trends that we should be aware of before uh, we start decorating? You know what? Colors change every year. It, it's all a matter of personal preference. Um, you know, and, and, and think outside the box. You know, there are so many things that you can use that are laying around your house. I mean, you know, books. I mean, the, anything. Toys. Um, pets. You can make pet wreaths. I mean, you can make things. Not live pets. Well, no, but I mean, <laughs> you know, pet toys. Yeah, pet stuff, I mean, right. I've, I've seen some of the cutest wreaths done with, like, dog bones. I mean, just really, Yeah. there's no limit to what you Let can put on a wreath. Let your imagination run wild. Or what you could put into a tree. Same thing. Yes, I mean, it's yes, just literally yes. all a matter of personal preference. I don't know if I'm doing this well, but... Anyway, we hope that everybody will stop by Benham's Grove because even if you just take a, a peek on the outside, mm -hmm. it's still, you get a lot of good decorating ideas, but definitely if you can come inside and and uh, gives you the chance to kind of step back in time a little bit in sure the, thing. In sure the thing. Uh, living room. It's a nice Victorian theme. 
Do you think we're good, or do you think I should add this one lonely I hole? think you need to put that ornament someplace. I don't someplace. even know. I, I think it's awkward. I'll have to do one of these <laughs> things. I'll let you do it. You can finish it up. Well, then we're going to uh, see the finished piece here. We'll make our, our last our last, the last with little the ornament. ornament on here. That should be the name of a book, The Last Little Ornament. I know. That sounds very Christmassy. Yeah, it's a great, it's a great, children's, great children's book. So anyway, there it this is. was Beautiful. thrown together very quickly. Um, well, by very a lot of talent. You, you can do this. So I think you always tell me to be confident when you do it and not to worry about mistakes. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And it, you know, if you're not confident, you can go and purchase a wreath that is halfway done or even buy them the, what they consider finished and embellish add to that. So if you're not comfortable making a bow, they make beautiful pre-made bows nowadays. So you can just go buy pieces and put it together yourself even if you're not extremely confident at doing it. And we'll be right back. We're going to show you um, this wreath and then we're going to have some dancers from the Miami Valley Dance Company. Stay with us. As we've said, Benham's Grove is the site of the annual tree lighting ceremony. It is Sunday, November 23rd at 530. And joining Randy and me now, we have Renee Arana, who is the parent president of MVDC, along with two beautiful dancers. We have our Snow Queen, Mackenzie Eckley, and Sugar Plum, who is Elise Seaback. And ladies, thank you all so much for being here. And what we're going to do is they are going to perform, because I know you've been waiting all the show to see that. But before, uh, Renee, tell us about MVDC. It's a pre-professional dance troupe, right? It is a pre-professional ballet company. We have girls that audition to participate in the Miami Valley Dance Company, which is housed in Terry's Dance Workshop. And uh, Terry has been having this company for about 22 years now. Okay, and the girls start at, at age what? They can audition for company at starting at the age of 10. So right now we have sixth graders all the way through high school. Okay, high and school every year Nutcracker is the Christmas show that they put on, Correct. right? Yes. And so for you, Mackenzie, how long have you been doing Nutcracker? Um, since I was young. And like, so you, so, since you were probably a little mouse, right? Yeah. And you started that age about three or four? Mm -hmm. Okay, and same for you, Elise. You've been dancing right. for a long time. So for, for, for you to see, the transition and growing, is this Snow Queen, is this a, a position or the, the dance spot that you've always wanted, Mackenzie? Um, yeah, I've always dreamed of being like a ballerina, so this is like exciting from being a mouse in like a fuzzy costume to now like in a tutu, I guess, is pretty exciting. And so <laughs> for you, Elise, uh, Sugar Plum, everybody knows that music. What's it like for you when you get to dance it? It's really great because all the little kids, they do know the dance, yeah. and so it's very exciting to see them. Like when they see me in like the costume and stuff, they look so happy, so it's great because I get to bring like that happiness to everyone. Okay, mm -hmm. and you get to wear a tiara, so right. come on, everybody <laughs> loves right. that part of it. And so they've been dancing, uh, you've been practicing for how long to get ready for this show? We had auditions back in October, and we've been practicing ever since. And they're going to see, at the tree line, you're going to see just a small snippet of what you can see at the Nutcracker, but if folks wanted to get tickets, the show is when, Renee? Uh, this year, the Nutcracker is going to be December 13th. We'll have two shows, a 3 o'clock show and a 7 o'clock show, and then on December 14th, that's a Sunday afternoon show at 3 o'clock. Okay. And you can call the studio, uh, the, the number is on the screen, for mm -hmm. tickets. You can reserve tickets using a credit card, or, or you can get them at the door, or you can call and reserve. Okay, and really, this is a great show for little ones through adults. Beautiful. I mean, it's really, a, and, and all of these young ladies are so talented. So let's give you a chance to see Sugar Plum in action.
was Elise Seaback dancing Sugar Plum. Again, you can see the Miami Valley Dance Company's production of Nutcracker. It's December 13th and 14th. Right. And you can call the number for tickets that we've shown on the screen. Yes. But you'll also be able to see some of these dances during the tree lighting ceremony at Benham's Grove. Again, that's on Sunday, November 23rd. It starts at 5.30. And Randy, lots of fun stuff happening then, Absolutely. right? Absolutely, So always. we start with the chorus from Normandy Elementary School. Mm -hmm. Centerville Community Band. Since the band will play, um, you know, everybody's coming in from the holiday walk. Everybody will gather around at 5:30. Everything starts um, after the band plays. I believe was when we move into the dancing. We have the dancing, and then um, you have a special connection with the North Pole. I understand. Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, so you're good friends. Santa yeah. will be arriving. Mr. Claus right? will be arriving. Uh, we'll do the countdown to light the Christmas tree. And we'll Mayor Kingseed will be lighting the tree exactly. this year. The mayor will be there right. this year to light the tree. And as Santa Claus arrives, he probably will come rolling in a fire truck and. Uh, so the kids can all sit down with Santa Claus. And share your all your special dreams and wishes. And we know that it does tend to get crowded, so we would tell mm -hmm. folks, come early, make sure that you're parked, because things do move and very quickly. parking is limited, so you do want to make sure that if you can't park at Benham's Grove, you can park at Stingley Elementary and the school behind or in the neighborhood behind uh, and walk over because there is limited parking space at Benham's Grove. Yeah, and hopefully we're going to have a, a great um, evening for that mm -hmm. because Benham's Grove will be all lit up and that'll be the first chance that you'll have to really get in and see um, all of the lights and, and we do do a countdown. So it's really a fun, fun evening. Again, that follows the hometown holiday walk, which is on the 23rd of November. That's from 1 until 5 o'clock. Then we go right into the tree lighting ceremony at Benham's Grove. We also want to thank the folks at Living Hope Church because they do provide all those delicious cookies. So thank you all so much for being here. We wish thank everybody you. a wonderful holiday season. We have a special treat for you because our Snow Queen, Mackenzie Eckley, is going to dance us out. So we will see you on November 23rd. You can always call the City of Centerville, 433-7151, or visit our website, centervilleohio.gov, for more information.